filmed live in LG 106 as your Heritage Late Night. Tonight's guest, Choir Vice President Faith Metcalf. And here's your host, the girl whose catchphrase is, come to our show, Ashley Keneally. Hey, what's up, Patriots? I'm your host, Ashley Keneally, and welcome back to Heritage Late Night. So, the time of homecoming is now upon us, and we're all gearing up for the chaos. At this point, most people have their dates secured, unless the procrastination they take into their schoolwork has now seeped into their social lives, or they just can't muster up the courage to ask out that special guy or gal. It's a little strange looking around at those dances, because in the movies, it seems like everyone there has a date. Unless they're the sidekick comic relief character who was only written in to make the protagonist seem cooler. Now it seems as if only people who are dating have dates, and there's a whole lot of comic relief for everyone else. But then again, we don't exactly have dance cards or anything like that anymore, but what we do have is a bunch of sweaty adolescents jumping up and down the gas pedal, so I guess we have a modern day equivalent with that. Um, but how could we ever forget about the good old homecoming game? It's one of the two football games of the year where the general school population shows up to feel more connected to the school by sitting in the stands and talking to the same five people they talk to every day and post pictures on their Instagram caption, Friday Night Lights with the shooting star emoji. I personally have never understood football or how it works, but I just hope both teams have fun. And now we're going to be looking at some of the highlights in this year's teacher improv show. Imagine doing improv. And we will see you after the break. So we'll be having a guest, and that will be Faith Metcalf. She's been involved in choir for four years, and she is now the choir council vice president. Let's give it up for Faith! <laughs> Hi, Faith! Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good thank you. It's good to have you on here. Thank you. Um, Glad so to be here. So we're going to jump right in with the questions. Okay. Um, so what... Uh, kind of made you decide to get involved with choir? Well, um, it started in middle school. Uh, I was kind of forced to because they make us uh, do this elective wheel. Um, and I ended up actually really enjoying it. So I continued on in eighth grade. And then when I got to high school, I figured, oh, I would try it. And then I just fell even more in love and decided to keep pursuing it. That's awesome. And kind of going off of that question, what made you decide to, you know, put in all the extra time and do choir council? Well, when they first announced that they were looking for people to join, I realized that I wasn't really doing much outside of school and I needed something to do. I had too much time on my hands. So I signed up and they gave me a position and I, the rest is history. That's awesome. And that you stuck with it too because... <laughs> I did choir council for one year and I went, that's so much work, I could have a job. But then <laughs> I didn't get a job. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to move on to the next question there. Um, so we have 
we just did the choir showcase. We did. Um, and, and there's a concert coming up, right? Yes, we have a concert coming up in December. It's going to be two nights. Um, basically, all of the choirs dress up into to their fancy tuxes and dresses and pearls. And we put on a show. It's basically everything that we've been working on for the whole year. Um, so we've been working so hard to perfect everything and make it sound good and flow. And like we're just really excited to finally be able to showcase all of this stuff. That's awesome. Um, so kind of on a side note of that as well, um, are there any kind of like funny experiences or mess ups that have like happened like with the concert or showcase or like? Uh, yeah, at the showcase that we had last year, for example, um, the a cappella choir and men's chorus were doing um, a performance of Thriller. Uh -huh. And it ha just so happened that our sound system was malfunctioning <laughs> and the track kept cutting off too early. We had to restart that song three times. That must have been a thrill for everyone involved. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so kind of on the, I guess, topic of like strange experiences with choir, what's kind of like the weirdest or I don't know, quirky. Um, what's the kind of the weirdest song that you've had to do with choir? Um, so uh, every year there's a district chamber festival where all three of the schools, um, their choirs get together from Freedom, Liberty, and Heritage. And uh, we all learn some music um, chosen by each of the conductors. So each conductor gets one song to choose that everybody learns. and. So the Freedom director decided to choose a rendition of Old MacDonald Had a Farm, but in Latin. <laughs> so you can imagine tons of choir kids from the district dressed up in their dresses and fancy pearls and suits and everything on stage, smiling and happy, and then singing Old MacDonald Had a Farm in Latin. Hey, Fun time. Hey, yo. Yeah. And then uh, Ms. Shanker, on the other hand, um, a couple years back, you remember, <laughs> we were in a cappella together, and she chose to do this Christmas song featuring kazoos. <laughs> so it was fun having to hide our kazoos on our side and then randomly pulling them out and singing a <laughs> tune through our kazoos. See, I enjoyed that experience thoroughly, <laughs> but... I'm pretty sure I was the only one that enjoyed that experience thoroughly. <laughs> so, choir can get pretty wacky sometimes, but uh, I think that's all the time that we're going to have today. So let's thank Faith Metcalf right here for coming oh, on to the show. And we will see you guys next week for the next episode of Heritage Late Night.